I'm Matthew Nunley. And I'm Owen Beck. And this is your Saudi Days of Weekly News. For your school announcements, we'd like to tell you that prom tickets will be going on sale this week. Make sure to buy them for a night to remember. March 26th is our ACT, or Job Shadow Day. Mark your calendars for this important date. And that's all for your school announcements. Now on to your local news. Your local news for today. Chattanooga has just received over $4 million in federal grants. The money from these federal grants has been determined to be used to improve pedestrian safety and to improve transportation for all. The U.S. Department of Transportation provided the grants that are going to be funding this improvement in transportation and pedestrian safety. That's all for your local news. Thank you, Owen and Matthew. And now it's time to go around the world with me, Kenny Smith. Actor Yao Yong Su was found guilty of sexual assault this past weekend. He is most known for his role in Squid Game and will be serving time for inappropriately touching a woman in South Korea. In Pennsylvania, a man was charged with murdering three of his relatives. Convict Andre Gordon Jr. was accused of killing his 13-year-old sister and also was charged with multiple carjackings. He will soon be held accountable in Bucks County for these crimes. That's all for your 90 Seconds Around the World. I'm Kenny Smith, and now on to Weather with Aiden. I'm Aiden Hamilton, and this is your weather for the week. Today, expect some nice, clear, and sunny weather all day. The temperature for today will be in the high 60s and low 40s. For tomorrow, the weather will be in the partly cloudy most of the day. The temperature is going to stay in the high 60s and low to mid 40s range. And for Friday, expect some light rain early in the morning until about 8 or 9 o'clock. But then after that, it will be cloudy with a pretty high humidity rating. But the temperature will stay in the low 60s and 40s. That's all for your weekly weather. Now back to Matthew and Owen at the desk. For your sports this week, we'd like to congratulate our archery team for breaking history and qualifying for nationals in Kentucky. Big congrats to them. Tonight, we have baseball at Cleveland, JV at 4, varsity at 7. Tomorrow, the 21st, the baseball team is playing in the Joe Adams Memorial Tournament, and the softball team will be playing at Signal Mountain at 5 o'clock. Friday, softball plays against Hickson at Warner Park. That's all for your sports. Kung Fu Panda 4 has topped Dune Part 2 for the second straight weekend with Arthur the King debuting right behind them in third place. Here's reporter David Daniel with more on the topic. I need an orphanage with more room. Cabrini took the number five spot with $2.7 million. Imaginary fell to fourth on ticket sales of $5.6 million. Arthur the King, starring Mark Wahlberg, debuted in third place, earning $7.5 million. Wadib, the prophet, the one who points the way. Dune Part 2 spent a second straight weekend in second place. $29.1 million put the sci-fi sequel at $205 million domestic. Master Shifu, I finally found something I'm good at, and now you want to just take it away from me? Another big weekend for Kung Fu Panda 4. The animated adventure kept the crown, taking in $30 million for a 10-day domestic total of $108 million. In Hollywood, I'm David Daniel. That's all for your Saturdays of Weekly News. I'm Matthew Nunley. And I'm Owen Beck. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next week with more.